I was starting to wonder if we'd meet face to face. Welcome to House Wrist. My name is Denry Ale, but of course you know that, and so much more, after stealing my records. Pleasure to meet you, Master Ale. Oh, and you. I hear you've been looking for me for some time, Your Highness. You claim allegiance to House Thule. Not that it matters. When we heard you were on your way, I arranged for my friends, at considerable expense, to prepare a traditional wrist welcome. In other words, you planned this. Did someone tip you off? Let's just say I'm not the only person on Alderaan to believe the Empire's become a problem. Now, should you manage to drive past the poisoned blades of my wrist friends here, I'll warn you, I am a skilled duelist. But I doubt that'll be relevant. Gentlemen, you may kill the intruder. Worthless filth. You may have killed me, but you can't take away what I've achieved. I worked for peace on Alderaan. I showed the houses how to settle their differences. What have you ever done for decent men? I'll ask the questions here. <laughs> a little... <clears throat> a little late for that. Master Ale, I'm sorry to disturb, but this message must reach you in time. The situation's grown worse. The thorn in my side knows you're visiting House Wrist, and I believe he'll soon give chase. He's dangerous, Denry. He's in league with my husband, and somehow gained access to your personal journals. I know the Wrists aren't committed to working for us yet, but I hope you can convince them to help you. I'm sure you can sway them somehow. You've a way with words. You and me? We're getting good. Halt! Leave Cortez lands immediately, or be forcibly expelled. You'd speak this way to the Baron's guest. The Baroness has revoked your access to the estate. She's ordered all defenses raised. You may as well turn around. We've got blast doors, force fields. This estate is designed to repel an army. The Baroness is funding terrorists, and I have proof. I'm not interested in your proof. I'm interested in removing a threat to my house. All droids, attack now! Fun. You don't think blasters are going to get us through here, Agent. Maybe we should talk to your bug boy. Agent. Come inside. The nest is prepared to defend you. Yeah, that's what you need these bugs for. Defending us. Our observers saw what happened. Why did Cortez turn on you? How can we help? Turns out, the Baroness is working with the terrorists. The Baroness? This is... unexpected. The nest has studied the Cortez estate's defenses and deemed them formidable. The interior shields are designed for squads of human attackers. The perimeter security systems are meant to combat armies and killic swarms. Why does the Nest know so much about Cortez defenses? We've been studying Cortez for some time. We've been thorough. The power generators are behind the main estate. They're well guarded, but they might be sabotaged from the inside. 
If we... If I could reach the generators, I could release a swarm of fingerling killicks. Our smallest brethren can easily slip through the cracks and damage the machinery. You any good in a fight? The diplomatic service taught us basic combat. Our transformation into Dawn Herald enhanced our physical performance. We can hold our own. If you two are taking out the shield generators, I'll keep the Cortez patrols busy. Maybe poach something nice. You're planning to steal the Baron's prized thrunters? What? We've got room on the ship. Each of us can carry a handful of fingling eggs. Once our young destroy the shield generator, we can proceed inside. Fingerlings have ruined the power. What have you done? Baron, I beg of you. You have made an enemy of the Empire. You have brought vermin into my house. I swear, I only wanted to protect us. Silence! <gasps> my honored guest, I bow my head in surrender, and I apologize for what's become of Cortez. You had no idea what your wife's been up to. It is the truth. Our reinforcements have arrived. We will attack on your signal. I knew nothing of my wife's conspiracy. She only confessed once the house defenses were down. But I will make amends. Now, Captain. You're an honorable man. I appreciate your sacrifice. I had no other choice. Now, take your insects away from this place. We can discuss further recompense as civilized people. We're afraid that's not your decision, Baron. Denry Ale and the Baroness are dead. With our assistance, the terrorist funding has been stopped. Now the nest will claim its price. We're standing in a woman's blood. Can't this wait? Apologies, but it can't. House Cortez will make a perfect extension of the hive. These rooms will become egg chambers and membrosia pools. The family can become joiners. What? You cannot do this! I gave you my wife! House Cortez opposed the Empire and must be subdued. The nest is growing and must expand its territory. I never agreed to anything like that. You agreed to an alliance, surely. By allowing the Killix to absorb House Cortez, both the Empire and the Nest benefit. Why would you object? The Baron gave us what we needed. The threat is over. A member of House Cortez acted against the Empire, therefore it is the will of House Cortez to oppose you. The Nest doesn't distinguish between the actions of groups and individuals, and the colony must expand. Agent, we... I must know if you intend to oppose us. If you do, the Nest will fight to defend its claim. I'm not letting you take these people. Very well, we understand. And our loyalty to the Empire comes first. 
We hope your decision is the right one. Men, defend the Baron! Increasing combat pheromones. The nest has withdrawn. House Cortez is safe. For now. You turned on the nest. That couldn't have been easy. The nest transformed us into the Dawn Herald. The nest gave us peace and understanding. But we were always the Empire's emissary. I am grateful for your aid. House Cortez has suffered enough. The Empire will expect your cooperation in the future. I assure you, House Cortes will make restitution. Baron, perhaps you'd allow us to access your computers. We are certain our superiors would like to see the Baroness's files. Captain Perovius, arrange it. I must see to our defenses in case anyone else would take advantage of our humbled state. This is Keeper to Cypher 9. I'm receiving your transmission. Watchers are reviewing the Cortes logs now. It looks like you've wrapped up the terrorist financing situation. Congratulations. How can you be certain so quickly? Vector Hellas has been filing interim reports. The Cortes logs are our final confirmation. Preliminary analysis suggests the Eagle's terror network will run low on funds within weeks. The cells will look for alternative credit sources, of course. Let's not give them the chance to find any. The Eagle will be long dead by that point. Excellent. Now I have news for you, both of you. I contacted Vector's superiors in the diplomatic service, and we've reached an agreement. Sir? Your requisition has been made permanent. You've been officially transferred to Imperial Intelligence. Cypher 9, from now on, Vector Hellas will act as a covert assault agent under your command. Understood? Understood. Welcome aboard, Vector. We'll do our best to live up to expectations. Once you're through on Alderaan, return to your ship for debriefing. Watcher 2 should have updates ready for you. In the meantime, instruct Vector as you see fit. I expect he'll require additional training. He'll be a superior agent in no time. Good. Stay alert, Cypher. Keep her out. Agent? We are grateful for this opportunity. After fighting the nest, we don't think we can return to the hive. This is for the best. I expect you'll be an asset. Of course. Thank you. We'll follow the rhythm of the song of the universe until the great merging comes. This is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. Verify that you're receiving and prepare for takeoff. We've located the Eagle. Watcher 2, you're fantastic. I certainly am. And you're going to love this. We knew the Eagle had abandoned his old base, but until you neutralized that last cell, we didn't know the details. Now we do. The Eagle is on Hutter. Get there as soon as you can. It all comes back to the beginning. For you, at least. I have to go now, Cypher, but I'll brief you on site. Watcher 2 out. Signal received. Transmission secure. All right, Cypher. Looks like this is the real thing. Ready to invade the Eagle's Nest? Right now I'm going in blind, you tell me. Given Pygon probability calculus suggests 86% odds. I ran the numbers myself. 
The Eagle and his men are holed up in an old refinery beneath the river. Sending coordinates now. You'll lead the forward assault, but military reinforcements will surround the base and follow you in. Primary objective is to capture or eliminate the Eagle himself. Why send me in first? You can be subtle. And besides, this is our operation. We're not handing it over to military brutes. Your secondary objective is the Eradicators. The terrorists have begun launching their biomechanical weapons over Imperial Worlds. Once the devices are ready, the terrorists can fire on cities and military bases from orbit. Why haven't the devices been activated already? It could be the Eradicators aren't fully mature. It could be their activation is more complicated than expected. When you're in that base, don't let anyone escape. Don't let the Eagle murder again. Watch the two out. Sir, we're cut off. Thurston and Gerald tried to get out, but the Imperials are all over the swamps. They would be. Damnation. I promised Gerald she'd die with the detonator in one hand and a glass of brandy in the other. Seems she's made a liar of me. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. You were everything I could have hoped for. Now carve us a path out. I'll follow soon. All right, I see you. The least I could do was send the boy off with hope. But have you seen the strength of the revolution? Cells on Narshadar, Tholet and Molivar, Alderaan, Balmora. It's an inspiration, no matter how it ends. Your inspiration is terrorism. Plain and simple. Nothing is plain or simple about terrorism, about rebellion, or about covert intelligence. That's your field, I presume. You don't look military. Tell me something. How much of my story has the Empire uncovered? What have your methods found? Why do you ask? Because if you're going to fight me, you should know what you're facing. I was a starfighter pilot. I flew in the battles of Coruscant and Druckenwell. Those were romantic days. Then, I began to lose squad mates. Some fell to Republic troopers. Imperial intelligence erased others. I wondered, was my empire worth it? A true soldier? Any true Imperial would know the answer to that. I was a true Imperial. I was a blasted hero. I realized that the Empire destroys people. Our once great society runs on human fuel and serves no purpose beyond ego. I decided to fight for a return to the old Empire. The Empire isolated on Drum and Cass for a thousand years. I thought I could succeed. You really think things were better before we showed ourselves to the Republic? During our dark millennium, we reached our civilization zenith. Modern ambition has corrupted us. I recruited allies who felt as I did, but we were so few. Then, I was approached by a patron. Someone who gave me a list of other revolutionaries, other revolutions across the galaxy. This patron? Who was he? Even I'm not sure, but I'm more certain than ever how far the Empire has fallen. I sought my counterparts on many planets. They hated for different reasons, but we all shared a vision of the Empire's defeat. I gave up my name to lead them. I was no longer an ex-Starfighter pilot. I was the Eagle. I was what the Revolution needed. I'm Cypher 9. I'm the Empire's way of stopping you. Killing me changes nothing. The revolution lives on. Another eagle will rise. Even in death, I'll have my victory. Six dozen eradicator devices are already in place. They'll wait to receive orders, at first. But eventually, without commands, they'll run rampant. Fire blindly at cities from orbit. Why would they do that? Consider it a safeguard. Uncontrolled, the eradicators won't hit our targets, but chaos and death still send a message. Now, I believe my forces have had time to regroup. May whoever survives see a glorious future for the Empire.
Oh, damnation. Even surrounded, even seeing you, I didn't think it would happen like this. But as I said, it, it makes no difference. The Eradicators will run rampant, the Empire will burn, and you have been betrayed. Who's betrayed me? My patron. The one who showed me how to unite the cells, proposed the Eradicators, is one of your own people. A traitor in your empire has been helping us all along. Your civilization is so corrupt that it's destroying itself. Give me a name. If I had one, I might. But I never learned the truth. Goodbye now. Watch me burn. Detonator, get back! Area is clear. Sir, are you all right? Cypher 9, it's Watcher 3. Are you hurt? That was a nasty explosion. Sorry, Watcher 3? We met on Draman Cast, sir, when you were posted there. Keeper sent me to assist with information retrieval, slicing the Eagle's computers. I'll also check out that device there. I think it's an eradicator. Is that going to be dangerous? Shouldn't be. The eradicators are designed for orbital attacks. Guess we'll find out. Cypher, I've got some preliminary findings. It's not good news. I overheard what the Eagle said. Looks like he was telling the truth. If no one gives the Eradicators new orders, they'll go mad. Fire randomly. Any idea how to disable them? Here's the good part. I figured out their control mechanism. Transmit the proper codes, and you can set the device's targets, disable them, anything. The Eagle stored half the control codes on his computers. Someone else must have the second half. The Eagle mentioned a patron. Yes, sir. The one inside the Empire. I'm not sure what that means. You should head to Drummond Cass. I don't think there's anything more you can do here, and Keeper wants you back at headquarters. <laughs>